What's up everyone? I hope you guys are doing great today. It's 102 degrees here in Ohio as I'm filming this ball video so it's nice to be in the air conditioning and not outside. Anyways, today we have the Hammer Bowling Dark Web. Uh, the web series has been one of my favorites since it's come out. The Web Tour Hybrid, loved. WebMB, loved. Web Pearl, loved. Uh, the original Web Tour Solid, I liked a lot. Now this is this should be pretty similar to that. I think it's going to be a little bit stronger, but today we have two of them for you. I have one that's pinned down. We got a four and a half inch pin down, as you can see. Shouldn't flare a whole lot. I'm not a huge pin down fan, as some of you guys may know, but uh, for the purpose of this, I thought it would be beneficial to to drill a pin up one and a pin down one. So we have a four and a half inch pin down, which we're at like, I think we're at 45 by four and a half by 75 is what the dual angle is. And then for the pin up one, I mean, why not go with my favorite layout, right? We have pin above the bridge. We got a 50 by four and seven eighths by 35, which, you know, that's pretty much what I put on every ball, at least initially, just because that's my base layout. That's what I think it should do, or that's what I know. That's a layout I know that is gonna give me a true reaction of the ball. Um, with that being said, the dark web, I believe is gonna be that new benchmark ball that you may have been looking for. You know, it's a symmetric that's not, shouldn't be super strong. I know the cover's kind of strong. It comes pretty dull. Uh, but as the oil shines, maybe, you know, it'll, it'll get through the lane a little bit better. Um, I've thrown the pin up one a little bit. It's got a little bit of oil shine on it already. Um, but I just drilled the pin down one. So as you can see, it's a little, it's a little more dull. Um, I've, I have thrown a few shots with it, but it's, it's pretty fresh. So I'm going to do a comparison. We're going to throw the pin down one first. We're going to start with that. And then we're going to go to the pin up one and we can go side by side and then kind of see what the difference is between the pin down and the pin up. As of right now, before I've thrown, I've thrown both of them a little bit, but I haven't stacked them up on top of each other. The pin down one should flare a little bit less and should be a little bit more controllable. Uh, for me, that's typically what the pin down layouts do and the pin up I should be able to get in a little bit more and still have that nice continuation through the pins as I'm getting further and further left. We are on the 2018 Chris Paul pattern which is 42 feet. Alright here so we are getting started here with the pin down four and a half inch pin down we're gonna you know play a little bit further right and uh, throw a few shots see what it does. Well, that did hook a little bit more down lane than what I initially thought it was going to do. I may have got it to the friction a little bit too soon. So I'm going to just move my angle in just a little bit. See if we can't get it down lane a little farther. to get started out here. But, as I said earlier, it's not flaring a whole bunch. Let's see if we can't throw a better shot. Yeah, that was better. As you can see, I really got that one up the lane rather than straight to the friction or over my left toe. That was a much better shot. Much truer reaction. We'll stay in the same spot here. Those two shots look, look really nice. Balance is bad. 
result was good. Hey, sometimes, sometimes the bad shots always strike. Other times, good shots do not. That's just the game that we play. All right, I'm gonna make a two and one left with this. This is definitely looking like, with the few shots that I've thrown, this is definitely looking like it's gonna be one of those benchmark balls. No matter what pattern you're bowling on, to get a true read on fresh, this is what this ball is looking like it's supposed to be. Still gonna make a two and one left. I wanna continue to go left a little bit, see what this ball has. That was pretty good there. I leaked that one a little bit further right than I wanted to but I did like the way that it came back. It saw it the right way. Where is my bowling ball? Said, I'm going to continue to move left. Wow. The ball. Usually I cannot get, I can't get left with 10 down balls typically. This one surprised me. This one is showing no signs of, of burning up. Like it's, it's retaining energy very nice. And it's still a nice, smooth, controllable motion. Move a little bit further. Wow. I didn't even, I thought that shot was good, but I didn't think it was great. I want to keep going. I am going to keep going. right and really open the lane up and for it to still come back and hit the pocket. I figured that one wouldn't. I'm gonna give it one more try to see that just just for uh, just for fun. version of a ball better than a pin down one. I'm about, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go to the pin down, pin up one right now. But I think that's nah, gonna be hard to beat. It's gonna be really hard to beat. 
All right, like I said, like I said, the pin down is gonna be hard to beat, but we have the pin up, four and seven eighths pin up, favorite layout. And we're gonna start in the same, same part of the lane as we did with the pin down one, and just gradually move in. up and the pin down one from that same spot both did the exact same thing it went straight to the face but you can see how much more this one flares rather than the pin down one it's a significant amount i'm gonna move a little left Horrible. This one's definitely got some more, more motion down lane than what pin down does. All right, let's keep going. Yeah, this one definitely hooks a lot more down lane than what pin down ball does. There's no chance pin down would have, no chance pin down would have got back to the pocket with that shot. With that being such a subpar shot, let me try and throw a good shot. This ball just wants to shake more down lane than what the down dark web does, which is good. That's kind of what we expect from them. And they're both gonna have their spot in the bag if we have both of them in the bag at the same time. I'm gonna keep going left. the difference between these two long balls. <clears throat> Even though they're the same, they're just drilled different. And this is the beauty about drilling, you know, about being able to drill balls so different because you can make such a different motion with the same ball. You know, if that cover and core is matching up, just go to a, the same ball that has a different drilling on it and it makes your moves easier. Now we're gonna keep moving left. completely different reaction. Two completely different reactions with the same bowling ball. It's great, I love it, I love to see it. This is what we wanted. Keep going. push it right. Nah, planes aren't ready for that. I want to, I, I will keep going left though with it. I want to see how far. This ball, you can continue just to go left with it. Like this is what this is what I like. 
That's what I like to do. Almost got to the limit there. Now, don't get me wrong, it's not a hockey stick motion. Like, it's not super far down, get, the, get down there and take a, a turn left. Like, the characteristics of the bar, still not going to be able to do that. But the motion of it, with it being that benchmark piece, I feel like it's going to be. Like, this is the motion that we need, that, that you want in your bag. Like, the way that it's going through the pins is just, it looks great. Right, we finished up with the pin up and the pin down version as you can see I had the commentary throughout the throughout the video I hope I'm just trying some new things hopefully this one works out hopefully the sound is good um, but yeah I mean the pin up versus the pin down well like you could definitely tell the difference between the two sometimes with certain balls if you draw them differently you know they're still close and these were still close like don't get me wrong but the difference is like whenever I was throwing them and getting left and the way that it comes off the friction was was a lot different. Like the pin down one, you know, it still stored energy. Like it didn't burn up instantly, but the, whenever it saw, like was coming off the friction, it kind of rolled off of it more. Whereas the pin up one went went further, like went sideways more uh, for you know for the ball. It's still a solid ball. It's not going to go dead sideways. But the, I mean. I left like the the pin down one went through the pins a little bit better because it was blendier through the pattern so it stored a little bit better energy and it had a better entry angle through the pins whereas the pin up one still got to the pocket every time but the entry angle wasn't quite right so that's why I was leaving you know some messenger nines or little like tens because it was coming in a little bit late through the pocket um, and that's just because you know the pattern wasn't quite ready for it yet but I see myself definitely throwing both of these a lot. Like typically whenever I throw a pin down and a pin up one of the same ball, I throw the pin up one way more than what I do with the pin down one. But this actually might be a little bit more reverse. Like this is going to be my first ball out of my bag on everything that I bowl on from 38 to 43 feet, no doubt. It's going to give me the truest read, like the, the motion of it is just one of those benchmark balls that I feel this one is this one's going to be special mark my words but this one this one will be special uh, with you know with all that being said i'm pretty sure i've covered everything so if you guys have any questions comments concerns drop them in the comments below make sure to hit that like and subscribe button if you guys want to you know have any more ideas for me leave them below and with that thanks for watching i hope you guys have a great day